What's going on guys? Welcome back to the VTune channel. So today is going to be an exciting day. We actually got a new build. The driver just dropped it off. So let's go check it out. So here it is guys. It's a 2016 BMW M4. We got a little bit of damage back here. But man, look at that color. It just shines so nice. It's like a gold yellow. I don't know what it's really called. But check it out up here. It doesn't look too bad. It looks like somebody side swiped him just by looking at how the bumpers like chewed up right here it's like sanded off almost that's pretty crazy i've never seen that before let's go ahead and get this thing in the shop go ahead and maybe start disassembling it check out what's going on underneath but inside we got all the airbags deployed we got the roof airbag deployed driver airbag deployed man this thing is oh we got some blood right there i don't know if that's blood or not but check out the seats we got red leather in here man this thing looks so nice so we got the hellcat hooked up to it with the jumper cables we're gonna try starting this thing there we go sounds pretty good we're gonna go ahead and pull the car inside So we have the car inside, but before we start disassembling this car and getting into it, I want to show you guys a really cool website called AutoAuctions.io. So Auto Auctions is basically a car fax for salvage vehicles. Here we have the perfect example on why you should always do your research on a car that you're trying to bid on. This is a 2015 BMW M4. I was actually planning on buying this car before I purchased my car, and thankfully I did not because I noticed it is a third party seller you always want to make sure the insurance company is selling a car because usually the car will look like this this car looks like it's barely wrecked but it's actually a doctored up dealer car the cool thing about auto auctions is you can actually see the previous vehicle sales this car sold for fourteen thousand dollars previously and you can see why this car is absolutely destroyed in the front has major frame damage probably some major mechanical damage and that's why you want to just stay away as far as you can from these third party vehicles and that's the cool thing about auto auctions it lets you know who's selling the car so you don't get screwed on your next purchase and also another cool thing about auto auctions if you scroll down to the bottom you can see comparable vehicles this will give you a price range of how much these cars are selling for the average price for a bmw m4 is around nineteen thousand dollars so if you're looking to get one how much comparable vehicles are selling for so you can get the best deal possible if you want to sign up to auto auctions go ahead and click the link in the description to get an exclusive discount so now that all you guys know about the coolest salvage searching website out there, we're going to go ahead and jump back into this car. I'm going to go ahead and cut all the airbags out just so it's easier to get in and out of the car. cut the airbags out guys check this out the airbag actually works as a garbage bag to get rid of all your trash that the previous owner left behind basically saving money already there we go this car is actually pretty clean there's just a bunch of receipts and papers clean to your standards Fuck off, Jimbo. What's inside the trunk? We got a bunch of papers in here or something. Check this out, guys. We got some iPhone screens. I guess all BMW owners have iPhones, not Samsung. So sorry to all the Samsung owners out there. If anybody needs an iPhone screen, just hit me up. I think they're all bad, but who knows? If anybody needs these, hit me up there for an iPhone. Six plus, they're brand new. Only want 10 bucks a piece. There we go. A bunch of other trash, a bunch of receipts. Gotta get all this garbage out. Alright guys, 
so now that we have the car clean, everybody knows that you can't start working on a car until it's clean. Well, we basically kind of cleaned it because our vacuum cleaner broke. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the front of this car. I wanna get this bumper off. So we got the bumper off, man. Check this thing out. It is absolutely destroyed. But check this out, guys. This thing actually has cameras in the bumper. That's pretty neat. I've never seen that before. Got the windshield washers. We do have a lot of broken stuff on this bumper, but there are also a lot of good stuff on this bumper. We got some of the lines are still good. I think we got like one or two sensors that are still good. We got the water headlight washer cleaners right there. That's still good. Man, let's check out what's going on over here. Ooh, we got some pretty serious damage right there. Let's get that out of the way. But see, this is just an extension off the actual frame rail, so it's not the actual frame rail that's bent. So we need to go ahead and get these headlights off, get further into there, see what's going on, because it looks pretty bad as it is. So let's go ahead and get this headlight off and see what's going on under there. So we got the headlight off guys and we got a little bit of a problem. We actually can't get this bar off because it's crunched so bad into there. We're gonna have to put it on the frame rack to get that off. So we're gonna hold off on the front end of this car. But check this out guys, both fenders are in perfect condition. Even the hood survived the accident, which is really awesome because we have an original hood. Everything underneath is all original. We have all the original stickers which is really awesome when working on a salvage car that's hitting the front. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the back. We need to get this rear bumper off. As you can see, we have a little bit of damage back here. I'm pretty sure there's frame damage just by looking at how this trunk fits up with the tail light. If you look right here, we got a little bit of a gap and this gap is a little too small compared to this side, a little bit bigger. So we're gonna pull this bumper off, see what's going on under there. screwed all the bolts on the sides and the bottom of the bumper now we need to go ahead and get these tail lights off it's really easy to do just pop this cap off right here slide this piece up and there's two 10 millimeter bolts right here same thing for this side
So check this out guys, we got some pretty good frame damage back here. We still need to take these brackets off to see how bad it actually is. But it kind of looks like the Hellcat, if you guys remember, the Hellcat was hit right here. This is probably a little bit worse because this area is a little bit bigger. We also, the rebar is kind of bent right there. Hopefully the frame rail didn't bend, but let's go ahead and get these parts off right here, these plastic brackets, and then we'll assess the damage a little more. We just removed all these brackets and it actually isn't as bad as it looked with the brackets on there this part right here just needs to be pulled out a little bit and the cool thing is there's really nice access over here once we got the battery out you can actually get in here really easy and push everything out so we're definitely saving all of this original stuff just pulling it out and fixing it all right so we have most of the car disassembled we have the rear all disassembled the front disassembled but i wanted to show you guys a pretty cool feature that i actually forgot to mention it's the carbon fiber roof i've actually never seen a carbon fiber roof in person but man does this look good i've always seen the wraps and that just looks horrible it's really fake we also got a little bit more carbon fiber inside we have a little bit on the dash right here she looks pretty awesome, to be honest. So big shout out to BMW for actually using real carbon fiber in their cars. I'm pretty sure this is like the highest model because it does have the comfort convenience package and it has the cameras, I noticed, in the mirrors also. Right here, check that out. We got cameras. But this car is in pretty good condition. We have a little bit of damage right here. I'm guessing when this area back here was pushed in, the quarter panel kind of buckled right here. But hopefully once we get that pulled out, that'll be fixed. And the rims are actually in pretty good condition also. Just minimal curb rash. We probably will get, be getting some new tires. These are about gone. They look a little bit dry rotted. But in the front, it's also not that bad either. We're going to have to put it back on the frame machine. Get all this pulled out right here and get this replaced. These parts are actually pretty cheap for BMWs. So we're going to go ahead and get all that ordered. And get this car back on the but man check out the red seats i actually love that the red on gold looks pretty cool let me know what you guys think about the red on gold as you can see everything's blacked out so this is a pretty good model pretty good specced out car so that's gonna be a wrap for today's video we got a lot of work done on the new project car we took everything apart we assessed the damage now we just need to order parts if you enjoyed this video go ahead and smash that subscribe button Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video. And thanks for watching.